So what is up, Rasita? Welcome back to another video. As you guys can see right here, we got La Foringona. What do you guys think about the new grill? If you guys didn't go check out the video, go check it out. She is looking clean as fuck. She's looking clean as fuck, but she's dirty as fuck, you know? And guys, I know I've been telling you I need to wash the truck, which I do, and it's really sunny today, right? But look, if you guys don't believe me, look at this fucking weather out here in Utah. Eden. So of course it's sunny today, right? But look at all week. Raining, 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 raining. So <laughs> there's no point in washing her because then she's just going to get dirty again and then I have to go clean her up again. So for now, she's going to be looking a little dirty. But anyways, in today's video, what we're going to be doing is some maintenance on the fucking brakes. So this actually has me pretty pissed off because we've done this already. I've replaced the rotors and the brake pads on both sides of the truck. And I replace I just I replaced the front uh, brake pads on the front of the truck, but the issues back here. So this truck, I mean uh, this side of the of the brakes and shit, for some reason, it is like making a nasty squeal noise. I'm gonna set you guys up right now so to see if you guys can hear it, but it is it just sounds disgusting. And I heard it yesterday when um yesterday when we were heading over to McDonald's to get a salad, you know, because I'm trying to lose weight. I'm just kidding, I'm not. But yeah, when I was heading over there, it just made this nasty squeal. And it only does it like on low speeds. So when you're coming to a stop, it like it's just horrible. So I'm gonna set you guys up right now and see if you guys can hear it. And what's oh hala it happens because you know when you try to fucking show someone the issue, it never happens. So hopefully it does. So I'm gonna set you guys up right now. See guys, I fucking told you that once I was trying to show you guys the sound, it wasn't going to fucking do it and it's not doing it. So I'm going to ride around right now and hang you guys out the window and hopefully you guys can maybe hear it. But hopefully it does it right now. Get it. Maybe I just got to drive around and shit. But it's bad. It's horrible. Watch. Oh shit, did you guys hear that? So yeah, it's louder though, man. It's right now it's quiet for some reason, but it is louder than that. Yesterday when I was going to McDonald's, horrible. Like I was embarrassed to drive the truck because people are probably like, this guy puts all his money into the truck but doesn't even fix his uh, brakes and shit when you know the brakes are brand new. So let's see if it does it again right now. All right, guys. Yeah, so it's doing it pretty bad now. Um, every time I stop, watch. Well, hopefully you guys can hear it right now. Yeah. So it's doing it now, um, but the issue is, oh, I don't know what the issue is. What we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to fix it with this, look. So we bought um, we bought some uh, brake fluid, cause I'm gonna, what do you call it? I'm gonna kind of, uh, what do you fucking call it when you do that to the brake pads? You fucking bleed them. I'm gonna bleed the fucking calipers, that's what I mean. I'm gonna bleed the calipers, so I need extra brake fluid. And then I bought this shit right here that you put on the, kind of on the pads behind it. So hopefully it stops the squealing and stuff and hopefully it works but because i don't know what else to do maybe it's the actual caliper that's uh maybe not catching all the way kind of stays open a bit and it makes it squeal so maybe it's that but we're gonna go back home you know raise the truck up in the air start fucking rubbing that cream on nice and sh on the fucking uh, pads you know no homo but yeah we're gonna do all that hey but pues yeah so let's head home and try to get that fixed I'm gonna... all right so we are home now we got the truck jacked up in the air as you guys can see right here we did get the wheel off and we had to actually spray this whole fucking uh, rotor and stuff with water because it was hella hot as you guys can see the water right here. But um, then it created this little powder. But I was telling you guys that these rotors are brand new. These calipers are brand new. I mean not calipers, the brake pads are brand new. So I don't know why it's making that noise. Now, I was kind of feeling right here on, the cal on this uh, little brake pad and hear this, listen to this guys. It seems kind of loose. So I think that's why it, it like maybe creates a vibration and that's why that nasty ass like scree uh, squeaking, squeaking sound happens. So uh, hopefully it helps when we add a little red paste right here on the back of both sides and then bleed the calipers. But also I did tell my girl to come outside and help me and listen to other sides because it sounded like there was more squealing from other sides as well. And she confirmed that the front and the other side of the rear is happening too. So just for precaution, we're going to put that red paste on all of the calipers. I mean, on all of the brake pads. I keep saying calipers. But on all the brake pads. And we're also going to bleed all the calipers and get all that shit nice and squared away. Because that shit gets annoying. And I don't want that sound anymore. So we're just going to get on that. We're going to remove this caliper. And then I'll show you guys when we put the little paste. And we'll be back, all right? All right, so we got the brake pads taken out. Uh, we got the period blood on it. I'm just playing. <laughs> no, we have the 
the CSR brake quieter on there. So the instructions say just to kind of put a little bit on the back and then smear it around. I accidentally put a bunch, so it's kind of looks not good. But anyways, they tell, tell you to put a little bit and then smear it around and wait 10 minutes for it to dry. And you're supposed to do it on the back side of it. So not the front, the back. And so there's that. So we're just waiting that to dry. Um, I just came back to kind of explain to you what we're going to do next. So we're also going to bleed the calipers. And if you guys don't know how to bleed them, I'm going to show you. So, you know, in the back of the caliper, there should be like a little ins uh, like a little insert thing like this. It looks like a little nipple. So this is what we're going to be uh, taking the brake fluid out of. So also make sure you guys have extra brake fluid for your truck or car or whatever, because uh, it, it goes by, it, it goes through it like really quick. So this is the instructions. Like, so you got to get your, uh, your little wrench right here. And then what you're going to do is you're actually going to put it on here like this. And then you need to make some, make some con construct, con what do you call it? I can't even fucking say it. A little contraption there you go a little contraption like this so you got to get a little plastic hose and uh, just get a little water bottle drill a hole at the top and then insert the plastic hose so what this is gonna do is you're gonna put the little this end of the hose into this little insert right here like this so you're gonna put it in here like that and there, there you go so it's put on there the water bottle right here and then whenever you're ready you're just gonna turn this little the little wrench to open up the open up the little this little nip one and the little fluids and start coming out and then for that you go to the inside of the truck you press on the brake and then you're supposed to have two people you can do it by yourself but it's better with two people so you keep pushing on the brake and the fluids gonna keep coming out into the water bottle and the, the when you when you know you're ready to when you know it's ready to go and you should stop is when there's stop there's no more bubbles in the fluid so once there's no more bubbles, you stop it, you turn this little wrench back to close the little nipple, and you're good. So that's kind of a brief explanation of how to do that with the calipers. So we're gonna install the brake pads back on there, and we're gonna do all the calipers, and then we'll be back, right? Alrighty, so we just got the truck done. We did all four sides. We got all four calipers on all four sides. The only thing that if you guys do use that CRC thing, this is how it looks. Kind of keeps the red film on there doesn't look too bad but so far everything went great we also bled all four um, calipers and the one on the other side was actually had a lot of bubbles so good thing we bled that but just backing the truck out right now just backing it up the brakes did feel a lot tighter and like better and I heard no noise so cross your fingers hopefully it is that and this fixes the issue but we are gonna go take it for a ride right now so we can make sure that it is the, that it is fixed I just gotta to torque down the lugs and well, let me get them torqued down and we'll head out, all right? We'll be back. All righty, so we just went driving for about an hour, hour and a half, and guess what? Zero squeals, I am so excited, man. I was getting worried too because the traffic next to me, like there were some cars that were squealing, I'm like, is that the damn truck? But no, zero squeals. And my issue with the truck was like, when I was coming to a stop light or a stop sign, just when I started slowing down, it would squeal so bad, and now, nothing man it's it's quiet it's amazing watch i'm gonna give you guys a listen you guys heard at the beginning of the video how bad it was so look at it now this is where it would happen just like right here and nothing one more time one more time see zero squeals guys man i am so excited with this um this is the stuff I use. It's called CRC Disc Brake Quiet. I got it at AutoZone. It was only like eight, nine bucks, which I think is worth it, you know, because that noise was driving me insane just hearing it all the damn time. So this and just um, bleeding the calipers probably helped a lot on the truck and even the brakes feel more like nice and uh, like tight. But if you guys use that stuff, this is the only thing that I was telling you guys that it does, like it, it leaves like little red residue on the actual pad. So I don't know if you guys can see right here, the red stuff on the pad. And I think that might actually might be washed off. Like when you go through a car wash or you wash it, it might remove the excess red stuff and just keep the red stuff in the little, you know, in the little creases where, where the pad connects to the caliper. So that's the only thing, but for it to quiet down and not sound like it needs brakes, I'll take that over anything. <laughs> but yeah, guys, other than that, that is it for today. And I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to comment and for sure, don't forget to subscribe. 
and I will catch you guys on the next week. On next week's video, alright? I'll talk to you later.